the ultimate topper study plan for IGCSE, Math and Science. Hey guys, hello and welcome back to my channel Karishma This Side and in today's video is going to be understanding IGCSE grading system that is how examiners mark papers and what score is needed for an A star. Second focus point is examiner's perspective. Common mistakes students make and how to avoid them. Third focus point is topper study plan. The exact daily routine to prepare effectively. The fourth point is common mistakes that cost marks and how to avoid them. Fifth point is past paper strategies. The secret formula to mastering past papers. And we are also going to focus on best free resources and website. Notes, past papers, study planners, revision, time management hacks, active recall strategies, how to write exam perfect answers, the most overlooked skill and the last but not least point is joining the Cambridge and IB learning community for free. It, isn't it going to be a power packed video? Let's get started. Before you plan your study schedule, it is crucial to understand the grading system and what you actually need for an A star. How does Cambridge mark papers? Examiners don't just check your final answers, they award marks for methodology and accuracy. A wrong final answer can still get partial credit if the working is correct. Each question has a mark scheme. You must align your answers with Cambridge expectation. Let's understand. When we talk about IGCSE A grade boundaries past trends, mathematics is around 85 to 90 percent for an A star. For physics it, and chemistry, it is around, approximately around 80 percent for A star. For bio, can go as low as 75 percent to get an A star. Fact: According to Cambridge reports, only 9 to 12 percent of students worldwide achieve an A in IGCSE math and science. Now, what's the important tip over here? A for a consistent 85% in school test to ensure you hit an A star grade boundary. Biggest mistake in math and science. Every year, Cambridge publishes examiner reports highlighting common mistakes students make. Let's learn from them. One, not showing full working, losing method marks. Two, misreading the question, rushing through. Three, using the wrong formula in physics and chemistry. Four, not using keywords in science explanation. And the fact here is 70% of students lose marks due to poor answer structure, not lack of knowledge. So even if you know it all, make sure your answers are structured well. And the tip here is before submitting your exam, always double check whether you have used the correct units for final answers. Should all calculations clearly check that your answer makes logical sense. Scoring an A star isn't just about studying harder, it is studying smarter. Here's a proven daily study routine followed by top IGCC scorers. Step one. Follow the Cambridge syllabus checklist. Download it. Highlight the most commonly tested topics. Step 2. Use targeted study blocks. Weekdays 2.5 hours per day. 1 hour new concept active recall. 30 minutes past paper practice and 1 hour reviewing mistakes and corrections. Weekends around 4 to 5 hours per day. Full length past paper simulation. Review week areas. The fact here is students who have structured study plan improve their scores by 30%. And the tip is always review past mistakes first before learning something new. Skipping definitions and keywords. Okay, even the best students make careless errors. Even the best students make careless errors. Here's how to avoid the biggest score dropping mistakes. Skipping definitions and keywords in science. The first mistake. Solution to this is memorize key definitions verbatim from the syllabus. Second is forgetting units in final answers. 
solution is always check if the answer needs centimeter, meter, joules or newtons. Next common mistake is writing long and vague explanations. Be concise. Use Cambridge mark scheme, marking keywords while you write your answer. You will save your time and marks as well. The fact here is students who avoid these simple mistakes improve their final grade by at least one level. Next point, past paper strategy. The single most effective way to guarantee an A star is solving past paper strategically. How to use past paper effectively? Start with topic wise past paper practice. After two to three months, do full length time papers. Use official mark scheme to check answers. Fact, students who solve five plus years of past papers improve their grades by 35%. And source of this information is Cambridge Examiner reports. Now, resources for past papers are linked in the description. Please do check them out. How to join the world largest Cambridge and IB learning community for free, where you can find top IGCSE and IB tutors, connect with them directly, get expert study abroad guidance, boost your university application with internships, no middleman, no agency, no extra fees. You have to check out our website www.karishmata.com, linked in the description. Until then, take care. See you in the next video. Thank you.